Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today we're going to be making an extra wide paracord bracelet. I would consider it a variation on the Genoese bracelet. A couple of different Instagrammers have done a modification of this weave, and so a link to their profile is down in the description. For this bracelet, you're going to need about 25 feet of paracord, a 3 8 inch buckle, and I'm going to be using a jig. Let's dive right in. This bracelet uses a four strand core. If you're not familiar with how to set that up, we have a video just for that that we'll link down in the description. So the first couple knots on this bracelet are gonna be a little bit different than the rest. We'll start by putting one cord over the top of the bracelet and then bring it around the back to bring it back to the original side. We'll form this loop right here. And we want to bring our excess cord down through that loop. This time around, we're just going to bring it down through that loop once, but after this first knot, we're going to be doing twice. So tighten that down really well. We'll do the same thing with our right side. So over the top, and then right back to the original side. And then we'll put our cord down through that loop. Bring our excess through and pull it tight. That should rest just under our first knot. This is just to hold everything in place and to get our cords where we want them launching into the full weave. All right, now that we have that done, now back to our left side. We'll bring the cord across the top and then back around the back. And then we'll bring our end down through that loop, pull our cord through, so it looks like that. And then before we pull that tight, we're going to be bringing the cord down through the loop one more time, towards the outside from our first loop. So then it should look like this before you tighten it down, twice around that loop. I find it works best to tighten our main loop first and then wrap it around and hold it with your thumb right there and then you can tighten each loop individually. And to get that even tighter you can kind of roll these two bumps here in your fingers. We'll do the same thing with our right hand one more time. Cross it over the top, back around to the original side. and then down through that loop and once again down through that loop. So here another freeze frame goes around our loop twice. We'll pull that original loop tight first, trying to not get our, our two bumps to lay on top of each other. Wrap it around, hold it with our thumb, and then bring the slack through one pass at a time. So there's our pattern. We'll squish that up towards the top to keep things nice and tight and keep it free of gaps. And then we'll just repeat this back and forth all the way down the bracelet. We'll catch you towards the end and show you how to finish it off. All right, so we're just about done. We've got a little bit of room there on our bracelet. So I'm gonna do what I did at the beginning and do one knot on each side where I just do one pass through the loop. And so I'll start on the left side because that's the next up here. Bring it through that loop once. And that'll end our paracord on the bottom side nicely. So that's out of sight. And we'll do the same thing with our right side. Once 
Once you have that tightened down, we can take it off the jig and clip the ends off. So there's our wide Genoese bracelet, all done. It's a really nice flat weave. A lot of wider weaves get pretty bulky, but this one isn't too bad. We'll try it on for size, and I think I, for once, made a bracelet that actually fits my wrist. I'm not usually a fan of bulky bracelets, but this one is, is all right. We'll put links in the description to where you can find the Instagrammers who came up with this idea, um, how we set up this four-strand core, and also where you can buy paracord and buckles. We hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, leave us a like, and subscribe if you want to be updated whenever we post a new video. Otherwise, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.